Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to um, map the aerial image from AutoCAD into 3ds Max on a tour terrain. First thing we'll do is check the units. Um, unit setup, yes, it's in meters. That's good. Um, I'll just import. So file import. Um, find that topography. There it is. Go away. Uh, contours open um, the files in meters so I'll just say OK go, go away um, there's the terrain there we go um, I'll select that I'll go to the create panel compound objects and hit the terrain button that will mesh it up nicely OK, then I'll flick back to AutoCAD and here's an um, aerial image that I've aligned. Um, it's not too bad. What I would do normally is I'd W block that out and import it into Max and that would make a box that uh, has the map on as a material. Um, because of this bug, we can't do that. So what I might do is um, I'll just uh, drag this guy across. Um, and we'll do it a bit, uh, I guess, a little bit manually. Um, so I've selected the box, I've got the properties up, and that gives me some of the information. Um, uh, we're going to check the length, uh, width, height, um, and, uh, and rotation. Now the thing to check here, um, it's set, the, the, this uh, box is on three, it's probably set um, to round off, so I might just type in units and change my angle precision to have a couple of decimal points. Okay, that way when I select the image rotations, it's actually 3.43. So what I'll do now is I'll go into Max, uh, I'll make a standard primitive, I'll just make a box. I'll just sort of drag in the window. Let's make it zero height. Um, I'll change the color of that so I can see it. All right. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go. Uh, we'll copy the width. Control C. I'll go across to the width here. Control V. And then I'll also type MM because these AutoCAD dimensions are in millimetres. Enter. And then I'll grab the dimension of what it calls height, um, which is actually the length in max. I'll can paste mm for millimetres. Enter. OK, and then what I want to do is rotate. Um, and I want to rotate 3.43, so I'll right click over here and I'll paste that in 3.43 enter um, okay now we should theoretically be able to copy paste the XY uh, positions let's see if this works I suspect it won't um, I'll paste that in there tell it that it's millimeters enter um, and I'll do the same with the Y Enter. And you can see that it's not quite right because AutoCAD thinks of the sort of center of the object differently to max. Um, so what we'll do instead is we'll draw a polyline uh, from, and I'll turn my snaps on, and I'll just trace this, uh, um, this uh, raster, um, see if it close, and I'll select the polyline, yes that's a polyline, I'll W block that um, and I'll just stick it somewhere that I'll be able to find it. C temp X crud uh, save yes and then I'll bring that into Max file import um, and I put it on C and temp as an exchange file. Yes, I want to change it from millimeters. Uh, yes. Okay, so there's my um, rectangle, 
this is my box that I've made um, it's rotated to match and what I'll do is I'll uh, move and I'll just turn my snap on right click and just make sure it's on uh, something more useful like um, endpoint, midpoint etc and I'll move this guy onto there okay so now um, I have a box and it's in the r same XY um, location, the same size and same rotation. Um, now what I'll do is I'll make a quick material um, uh, to put onto it. Um, I'll just use the old fashioned compact mode. Um, I'll make it a standard material with a simple bitmap on it. Um, maps, where it says none, I'll go to bitmap uh, and I will da -da 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 find where I've put the bitmap. And I usually put the bitmaps in with my mesh file, so I'll just pick on that guy. OK. Um, just make sure it's not set to real world um, scale. Um, so that looks OK. I'll then apply that to the box um, and turn off the real world scale and have it display in viewport. And that should look, yeah, that looks OK. I'll do the same oops, to the terrain, apply, yep. OK, so now what I want to do is harvest the mapping from this object onto the terrain. I'll turn off my snaps. Um, so what I need to do is firstly put a UVW map onto this guy. Uh, yep. Uh, make sure I turn off real world uh, coordinates and do the same here. UVW map. Um, again turn off real world coordinates and now you can see they're not aligned. Um, different scale and stuff so what we need to do is acquire click on this guy and go absolute and now my terrain is in the right mapping um, is, is mapped correctly with the aerial image okay